hi today is uh april 12th 2018 and i just want to talk about something that i just saw on a uh, tv show i was in a restaurant um and there was a a tv up in the corner and it was on a like a cartoon and um there was this one line that caught my attention I wasn't watching the even watching the show really but I kind of looked up as this scene played out and um, there was uh, some parents dropping a young uh, boy off to get on a bus and go on like a field trip uh, like a school bus and they were saying goodbye and the kid was a little bit afraid and and he says to his dad he says uh, can you go in my place and that's the line that that stuck with me um can you go in my place and um you know it just made, it instantly took me to the thought of of jesus when he's in the garden and asking you know hey, if this if this cup could pass from him um you know but not his will but the father's will and um you know it just really got me thinking about us when we are in a time of trouble or a time of fear a time of um you know maybe we're facing um a health issue um and you know when that health issue comes on you're you're scared um and you who do you call out to you know who do you who do you um who do you ask to help you? And, you know, um, the reason I'm saying that, I guess, on the health issue was earlier today, I was um, I was just walking along, uh, heading to a, um, an appointment and um, trying to catch a bus. And on my walk, I uh, suddenly got, like, really dizzy and it was like a vertigo like where um you know it looked like everything was spinning first it was spinning downwardly and i had to sit down within like five seconds of this dizziness i just i couldn't even walk and um and i started you know i was just like i was kind of waiting for it to stop and i just cried out to jesus i said you know jesus whatever's happening um you know save me help me um you know that's instantly what i thought to do um anyway uh, then it was kind of weird that uh dizziness uh feeling where it was like everything was spinning kind of downwardly it started spinning the opposite direction and then within a matter of short amount of time it just went away I stood back up and uh proceeded on and i i didn't have any more problems after that but uh when you know when something comes upon you suddenly like that you don't know what's wrong you're you're a little bit afraid and uh you know basically my whole equilibrium was off and i i could not um i couldn't walk and so anyway um it's kind of like when uh, peter's walking on the water and he starts to sink he says save me and uh jesus reaches out his hand and pulls him up so um back to that line can you go in my place and um as we are living our earthly lives we are um looking at what appears to be everybody that's come before us except for jesus has um as far as we know i guess jesus and the thief that went with him to be in paradise um we as far as we know though they um they die they are dying a physical death and you know can you go in my place Jesus I will you know will you accept that that he already died for you um, 
you know, and I, I kind of think about it sometimes is um, the Father God and in heaven, um, when Jesus was going through that, uh, he says, why have you forsaken me? And, um, you know, I just kind of, I kind of think about it and I don't really know exactly what happened there spiritually, but, um, a father, a good father would have compassion on their son. And, um, you know, maybe that's what happened after the three days. But I also, I also question some of the things that happened spiritually right at the cross. You know, I think people were uh, unable to see it because it was in the spiritual. But there were certain things that were said that would indicate that there was some changing around of spirits. Jesus looks to his mother, says, Woman, behold your son. And then he looks over to John and says, Behold your mother. And, um, you know, I just, I just kind of like think that he was saying something more than just, you know, you're, John, you're going to, you're going to be t um, taking care of your mother. I think there was something more to it. And, uh, I think that it was very, um, it's just very important to remember that the first and the last, the first shall be last and the last first. I don't know, there's some 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 thoughts that I have about that, but um just getting back to the, the main purpose of this video. Would you go in my place? Well, earlier today, before that dizzy spell, I felt like God was telling me to give blood. And I didn't understand it. I felt like God was telling me to die. And I didn't understand it. And I rebuked it. I said, no. That's not from you, God. I said, no. But then I started to think on it. And then I got a text message that my son had a migraine. And he hadn't ever had a migraine before. So I immediately had compassion for him and started praying, praying for him, you know, almost saying, you know, God, whatever's um, affecting him, let me take it, you know, let me take it for him, let me stand in his place, let me go in his place, set him free of it. And shortly thereafter, I had my dizzy spell and I called on Jesus. You know, I don't understand everything that's going on, but I just know that there's a heart of the Father that is to save. A heart of the Father that wants to help you out of your time of trouble. And He sent you His Son. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God made a way for you. And um, call upon His name. Call upon His name. Alright, those were just some of my thoughts for today. God bless you. In Jesus' name, have a great day. Bye.